So, there is some good news, potentially, for this weekend. Go on, go on, go on, go on, Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's face and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video go live and when live, live streams happen. By the way, live stream happening tonight. We're doing the Sheffield Wednesday debrief like we did it on Saturday. Everyone enjoyed it, and I think it's a good thing to start doing. Have a review, and then like a live stream, like debrief to talk about things. I might start doing live stream uh, for previews as well. We'll see. Uh, Talking Wednesday podcast is out every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Now, there was a difference this week. Uh, there wasn't one due to uh, Dex having a family thing to do, and we just wish him all the best, and hopefully we'll get back on track next week, and it'll be a bumper episode next week, so... It'll be good. So, Joe Cran has tweeted saying potentially uh, Windass should be back for Saturday. Now, this will be huge for us. I mean, massive thing to have it. And he's been a big component of what um, it'll be. And he said, we'll check... On Joff for Saturday. Moore said it could be a 50 50 for Saturday, but we'll see. Now, this will be good. I know 50 50 people going, 50 50 couldn't happen. Uh, he probably just building our hopes up and not happening. But if it's 50 50, it might be 50 50 that he start. He doesn't start, but he's on the bench. It 50, I We had that with Patterson. He had that the same kind of thing with Patterson, and then Patterson was in the squad uh, ready for it and had to come on and probably did. Too much minutes that he wanted, and he probably a similar thing to Patterson wants him to have a bit more volume. But it sounds like the volume might be getting up there if he's already saying that Patterson is um, if that Windass is nearly ready to go. And this is really good news because we are missing him. We're missing his runs. We're missing his pace. Uh, we're missing his ability to just get past the man and his first time shooting. And it's also his assists. His assists make a huge difference. So if we can get that, that will be really good. Now, we do know Fem Femero did go off. They're going to assess it. It looks like it was muscle tightness. But if Windak came back, it would be really good news. No word on Malik Wilts. I think we'll get something on that on Friday press conference. It did sound like he was only, only a little bit out for not that long kind of thing. It's out, you know what I mean? It sounded like he wasn't going to be out for long. So hopefully there's a chance that he's going to be okay and he's going to be sorted and we'll get through that one. But let's see what happens. This is really good news and just the positivity of that could help lift some of uh, the fans a little bit and see what happens. Granted, we've just got to win our games, concentrate on ourselves again. I think we've got too busy concentrating on others and not concentrating on ourselves. So let's see what happens. But Winda could play Saturday. 